I took all the furniture out by myself. Well, the help of God, but yeah, I'm strong, so strong, right? With God. But I took all the furniture out myself. The dressers, that little baby couch I had in there, the sofa, and that little TV stand. It wasn't little, it was so big, hard to carry out, but I did it. But yeah, it's all out. Everything but that little couch bed in that living room. That's still a good couch and everything, but they can do whatever they want with it, I guess. Because it's a couch that turns into a bed. You can lay on it, and it's very comfortable. But I can't take that with me. It was free anyway, though. But, yeah. I think she was saying, yeah, we won't even charge you for leaving it here. Because she was like... Oh. She was, like, a nice lady. Like, the other ones were really not nice. I don't know. But she was different, like, understanding and understanding my situation. And I've been praying yesterday. I was like, I think it was the other day. I was like, God, please tell me something. I don't know what to do. And finally, I got an answer. She was like, well, you need to have them inspect the apartment for damages first and then we can transfer your stuff down there so now i get it yeah but i could have sworn in york though they didn't do that they just transferred me there to here easy but here is like different mm -hmm. But the um, I think the people been smoking in the hallway again. Like, I think that um, the homer. I don't wanna the the girl that lives across from me. I'm not gonna say she's a boy because I'm gonna I see it what it is. She's a girl, like acting like a boy. But I think she's smoking deliberately in the hallway just to be smart, cause she knows that it aggravates. Like that stuff, like stinks. Like why are you doing that? to do that just to be ignorant let's show what type of person you are like you're disrespectful you're petty you need to grow up you need to like respect people's boundaries and respect people when they say what's well, something's bothering them they're just bothering them like why you have to do stuff on purpose like that that's not cool <clears throat> but that's the type of people in the world that doesn't care about other people's health they want other people's health to go bad and get um, breathing problems because their health would be bad. No, my health, I care about my health. I care about my health. I try to take care of myself the best I can. And I won't put that stuff in my body. Like Just because you put that stuff in your body, that's your body. If that's what you want to do, do it. But that's... Um, don't do that to me because you don't have to bring me down with you like bring other people down with you because they don't want to smoke like leave people alone like why are you trying to force that on somebody <coughs> because they're not normal they like to call chaos, they like to call drama, they like to do all types of stuff. But I'm gonna know it and tell the landlord about it. I really talked to the agency about that, yeah. They said they were gonna talk to the management, I think, about that smoking issue. But I clean up and everything. I just have the TV in there. I'm just gonna turn the TV on because obviously a girl walked past trying to hear me talking. I got so weird. Never mind their business. Like, leave me alone.
But that stuff make your stuff. That cigarette smell make your nose run. And it makes you like. <clears throat> it makes my throat cloggy. <clears throat> but. These people. They don't care. Like my friend said. Because they're lost souls. And they're ignorant. And that's why if they can get away with smoking in the hallway and the landlord doesn't want to do anything about it, like the guy, I think he was really kicked me out because of the um, me talking about the cigarette smoke when they sent that no vacation out. And then all of a sudden I have a, have a termination on my door and she's trying to say it's for a messy house. Well, I had a few stuff on that floor I have a few items on the floor, I know, but the walls are fine, the rug's fine. <clears throat> I still need a vacuum because I took all that furniture out. This is why I don't like buying, like, furniture and stuff like that. Because I could never take it with me. Like, maybe my situation will change when I start working. Because I need to start working. And when I get to the new town. Even if I start working, like, I'm going to buy light furniture. I am taking my stereo with me. I definitely will take that with me. And travel bag and bag of clothes and some personal items of the all the toilet paper. I got so much toilet paper, man. It's crazy. But yeah. Uh, so today is, um, I think the 11th or 10th, it's the 11th, Monday 11th, the 11th, 3.56pm, yeah, so I have to go finish cleaning guys, so I'm gonna get finished stuff done.